All right, in this video, we're gonna go over a bunch of nano shortcuts and command options that you have within the nano text editor. All right, now we're here on GNS3 in order to demonstrate the nano text editor. First thing I'm gonna do is create a basic topology in order to connect it to the internet. And I've done this and explained this in previous videos. So for this one, I'm probably just going to fast forward it. And then real quick, I'm just gonna change the network interface settings to take a DHCP address. So I'm gonna restart it. And then once we have an IP address, we're gonna start looking at nano commands. All right, so now our Linux server has come back up. We have an IP address, and now we are going to start using the nano text editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a test file called test just by using the command nano test. All right, so I've just created a basic file with some numbers and a string of characters on one of the rows. I'm going to hit control X to exit and then it asks me if I want to hit save and I'm going to hit yes. And it wrote to test. Then I can see the contents of the test file by hitting cat test. Nano actually has a lot of shortcut operations, so I'm just gonna go through a few of them. And then we're gonna go look at the full-on cheat sheet. So I'm in my file and you move around with the up and down arrow keys. Then I, go up, I can go down to this and press left and right and move along that line as well. So you can just exit the file by hitting control X. And then it asks you if you want to save and you can hit no. And then you can go back into it and you can see that the changes that I made are no longer there. And so what I have here is fairly short, but again, if you're in a much larger text file and you want to search for something specific, you hit Control W. This is gonna do a forward search. You can see down here in the lower left, it says search. And so you wanna type in exactly what you're searching. And so I'm searching for five. And when I started this search, I was on the number one here. And so since that is moving forward in the file, I was able to find it. I'll hit it again, and then I'll search for A, which then it'll take us down to that line. And I'll try it again and search for one, and it'll take us back up there as well. It's doing a forward search. We'll search all the way through to the end of the file and then go back up to the top. All right, so now I move down to the A line and I'm gonna hit Control K, which is gonna cut that line. Control K and then Control U will paste that back in so that acts as kind of a cut and paste. And then I'm gonna hit Control O. And you can see right here it says File to Write and this is acting basically the same as Save As. So I'll say Test 1. Yes, ask if I wanna do it under a different name. And then I'll hit Control X and hit LS to list the files. Now you can see that we have both test and test one there. All right, so I know that's just a few of the commands and we're not gonna go through all of them because there's a ton. Uh, so here is a cheat sheet and I'll have a link in the description to this. This is gonna show you everything that you can do within Nano and as you can see, there's, there's a lot of different options there. But for the most part, Nano, a very easy text editor to use and it's a perfect one for beginners to get started with. All right, so that wraps up this video. This video is just one in a much larger series called Linux for Network Engineers, so you should check the rest of them out too. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.